Hey there, my name is Shasha, and today let's review our timesheet app, Jibble. Once your team has started clocking in and out, you can view their timesheets to know how much time they spent at work. Jibble processes everything in real time, so you can keep track no matter where you and your team are. In an instant, you'll be able to see how many hours they worked in a day and who has worked overtime. They're marked in red. Choose if you'd like to see a daily, weekly, or a monthly overview, and filter the total hours per day here. To see if someone has worked less hours or more hours than usual. You can also filter timesheets per groups or per work schedules. To get a better picture, click on the time entry and you'll be able to see how many different activities someone has worked for the day and how much time they spent for that activity. So if an employee is clocking in via mobile and they have GPS turned on, you'll be able to see and to check where they are clocking in from. If you prefer to simply see the hours worked, click Payroll View and you can see the total hours worked per employee for that week. Once you have exported the necessary timesheets to an Excel file, you may choose to see what information you like to view. Firstly, we have the team summary. This is a weekly timesheet, so you can see the overview of the whole team for the week, the hours worked, the overtime calculations, and the total hours. You may also see a summary per member, how many hours they worked in a day, how many overtimes, and because I did not mark rest day, weekly overtime, and also public overtime, so it is not calculated. The work schedule is an essential part to get accurate timesheets. This is where you can set working arrangements for employees, either it be a fixed schedule, flexible, or a weekly flexible schedule. In fix, you can also choose if early clock-in is included. And you can set break times. And also set up auto deductions if employees are not needed to clock out for breaks, but breaks are considered unpaid. Another important aspect will be instructing the system on how to calculate overtime. It could be after certain hours or after certain time. If a company practices rest day and public holiday overtime, just simply enable those. Choosing the overtime rules here will ensure data is tabulated correctly when you export the timesheets. The work schedule can then be assigned to different employees and different groups, as well as assigned to specific locations that we call geofence. Geofencing is when you set the address of the office and sites staff are supposed to clock in from, and then set the parameters. This means if an employee is outside of the radius and you have assigned this location to them, they won't be able to clock in. Policies can be made for the organization and the time tracking settings. Simply choose what restrictions you would like to apply to your team. You can also set reminders as well as work schedule restrictions, which allow employees under the fixed schedule to clock in early, to clock in late, or clock out early up to certain minutes. You may also set auto clock outs here so that employees can clock out automatically in the Jibble system after certain hours or after a certain time. Now that you have seen how much time employee worked from the timesheets, you can go to reports to see in better detail what they worked on. Filter the reports to their requirements by grouping, subgrouping, and filtering per locations, members, schedules, activities, projects, and clients. Once you see the pie chart overview, simply scroll down for a better breakdown or download the Excel or CSV files. This is an example of an exported report file. As you can see, I grouped them by member and activity. I did not change anything under filters, so you'll be able to see the members and what activities they did throughout this week. I hope this overview has helped you to understand our Timesheet app. Be sure to give us a try and let us know if you have any questions. Enjoy jibbling! Bye!